Hello, my name is Angela Moredi from Riara University and I am here for the Tobacco Tax Advocacy um, Workshop which started on Wednesday and all through Friday. So the training was amazing. There was a lot of information that I picked from the training. It was very informative from all the speakers that spoke for the three days. It was really a good experience and an eye-opening one for us university students. The most interesting topic for me had to be um, the presentation from the from Ketka on um, on the monitoring of the tobacco industries and the various ways that these industries used to manipulate us and the people who are addicted to these tobacco products. It was also an insightful lesson and um, presentation from all the presenters from NTA and basically giving us an overview of this project and getting to learn why it is important that we advocate for these tax increases on tobacco products because um, the effects of these products on the smokers are really adverse and it would help if everyone was sensitized on this and if lives were taken more seriously. I am definitely more equipped after, after this session. I have a lot of information to take out there and to act like an advocate because change begins with us and because we have been equipped to go and empower others at our various institutions and also um, even outside there in the public, if you meet someone um, smoking right now, you would know what the, what the the drug or the substance they're using is doing to them because you have been equipped with such information. So I definitely believe I will be a first class advocate in really sensitizing people, in calling out and whistle blowing um, some of these platforms that are really advocating for these tobacco products because um, when you know better, you do better. So I will definitely be advocating for tobacco control in Kenya. Okay, my name is Kevin Chitechi from Masaimara University. Uh, I'm one of the NT ambassadors uh, and we are very glad to be here for the trainings that has been for three days and we are very glad to end uh, it in such a great way. Among the topics that I really enjoyed here was uh, digital advocacy that was done today by uh, Mr. Rogers, uh, who is currently in Malawi and uh, we, we love the way he is explaining on how we can do it. Uh, just even from our places, it does not mean that we, we have to go to the to meet the audience or the people who are being affected. For example, for myself, I'm already doing it uh, through Twitter, through the the Facebook, and that is some of the things that I really enjoyed learning today. Uh, let me confirm to the NT that uh, we really thank you for the training, which has been very impactful to us, because uh, as for now, I'm ready to go and uh, uh, teach anybody that I'm going to meet, uh, and including my friends at the campus, very comfortably because I'm full uh, or I'm, uh, I'm very full with the knowledge. Uh, my name is Rola Mwangi from Multimedia University of Kenya, pursuing a bachelor's degree in procurement and logistics management. Uh, I'm really happy to be part of this uh, tax advocacy program by the National Taxpayer Association. Uh, the training was really quite well and uh, I'm happy because I got to learn a lot of things and I feel like uh, I'm really, really equipped to take this program and I'm also happy to be an ambassador, you know, learning how to uh, help in terms of monitoring the social media and monitoring the influence of this uh, uh, tobacco industry. It was really, really interesting for me to see the part I can play uh, in pushing this uh, the tax advocacy policy forward. I'm really, really equipped because I really, I really got to understand in terms of a, a good tax advocacy policy, uh, like in terms of, uh, you know, you make sure like uh, whatever you are pushing for is it's reaching the right or the, the right targeted audience by having a, a good communication strategy. Yes, and also understanding the, the tax excise structure, like before you push for anything, you really have to make sure that the tax system you are, you are, you are suggesting is a, is a just tax system. Hello, I am Fiona Kamau, a student at Catholic University of Eastern Africa. I am a student taking part in the NTA program. We have had our training for three days now. The training was very educative and 
I have learned a lot from this training. I have then become inspired to educate people on the dangers of tobacco smoking, that tobacco can cause cancer and peer pressure should not influence them to continue smoking. The most interesting topic was online monitoring. When a celebrity posts a photo, many people are so pressured to do what that influencer is doing and that is a very major effect since in this current generation every like every youth is doing what any celebrity is doing so celebrities play a very major role in this part so if celebrities can can like censor what they do online and avoid using of tobacco and other tobacco related products online can really reduce the tobacco smoking. I am more equipped to control the use of tobacco in Kenya since I am not a tobacco smoker. So if I advise people, they listen and this training has also made me become more knowledgeable on tobacco so I can really help people out there and even train them. Um, my name is Shadrach Mecha from the Technical University of Kenya and uh, for the past three days we've been in under the training of NTA and KESRA and uh, KRA. Yeah, so our main objective to, uh, for the three days was to advocate for the tax increase in tobacco products majorly and also NTA. Its part was to, to teach us how to monitor or to, to explain to us how the money which will be fetched from these taxes, how they'll be used to better, you know, like how the taxpayers' money will be used. My most interesting topic, I can say, uh, actually all of them, but majorly today's Friday, uh, it was by Mr. Rogers. It was about uh, the online advocacy, yeah, how to use the media to reach out people. So the, especially the two videos, he taught us about the information which goes to the heart and the one which speaks to the mind. I j like he brought a new dimension of how we, are, we how we will use our platforms in the universities to reach out to the students and to everyone who is affected by this tobacco. In in part of knowledge, yes, I can say I'm very well ready to go to the field, to back to my campus and tell my friends and lecturers what I've learned today. Maybe I can say, apart from we are students, maybe if NTA can take a step to help us with you know the facilities like we say the posters and uh, how to manage our online platforms i think we'll go a milestone in making sure that this message reaches the other universities even though even we are six today but i believe as time goes by the number is going to increase and a lot of youths are going to benefit from this uh, my name is diana angela i'm a student from the university of nairobi I've been privileged to be part of uh, NTA in uh, this project. Privileged also to attend this training for three days. Uh, it has been really quite, I've learned a lot from this training. And uh, one of the things that has really shocked me is some of the things uh, I've not been knowing, facts about tobacco. We take them lightly, we see happening. In fact, the number of tobacco use is increasing among youths and uh, we are still taking it lately. The facts about tobacco and how it's affecting people and the effect it goes on in terms of people who are poor and uh, the, f the cost that government has to incur in, cat in catering for these people in terms of issues having health that causes, for example, cancer that comes due to use of tobacco products, going to find ways and advocate ways to increase tax on tobacco products so that um, we discourage these people from accessing easily these products. So that's really that really stood out for me in this whole training and I'm really ready to advocate for this because I know this is really going to help in terms of finance. Uh, it is If we are able to get to raise funds through taxing uh, tobacco products uh, higher, uh, that is means it's going to help Kenya to, corre to collect revenue and it can also reduce effects that comes with, with health 
uh, people, many people getting sick and they need treatment and government has to again take care of such cause. So this is something that I'm really excited and looking forward to work more with NTA in collaboration to all those parties that are involved. Thank you so much.